Hello everyone, welcome back to Camp Buddy. In the last part, we had a great scene. Although it was mainly due to Taiga drama and not due to Hero, which is kind of odd considering it's uh, his route. But here we are with cookies. Ta-da! The first batch of animal cookies is all done! Aww. Aww. They turn out so cute. Can I taste one? Really? We had to have the C word mentioned right off the bat. That's not really a great way. Yep. By the way, I have not slept today. It is almost noon and I have not slept. I don't know why I'm recording this. I surprisingly have a lot of energy. I thought I'd be dead by now. My plan is to go straight to bed after this recording. That is how botched my sleeping schedule is at the moment. But like, you know, whatever. Sleep a little. <laughs> Sure thing, Kiro. Take as much as you want. <sighs> Yum! The frog cookies are green apple flavored. I love it. Really? Apple flavored cookies? I don't think I've ever seen that in my life. Woohoo! I'm glad you like them, Kiro. Our hard work really paid off. Hey, I know! Why don't you go around the camp and share some of these with your friends now? I'm sure they'd love to try some. Oh! Oh, that's a good idea. We did promise to give everyone a sample after all. Come on! Come on, Kiro. Let's go see everyone. Yay! Don't know. if, By the way, if my energy dips in the middle of this recording, I'm just going to call it right now. Like, I'm not even going to do an outro. I'm just going to cut back to maybe like a day later recording the second half. <laughs> this is a... I'm, I'm doing something very um, risky right now. Hmm. Where do you think everybody is? Maybe... I'm not too sure. I guess they're all working on their activities today? <laughs> yeah, I was expecting to at least find Natsumi, Seto, or Lee out here doing their video. Maybe they're with the Scoutmaster? Hmm. I guess so. Uh... Oh, wait. I actually have to pee really badly. Well... <laughs> I've been holding it for the last few hours and forgot about it. How do you forget about it? Can you stay here for a minute with the cookies? I'll be quick. It's alright. Ha 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 ha. It's alright. Go ahead, Hero. I'll wait for you. Thanks. Thanks, Kiro. Be right back. <sighs> oh, man. I've got to go so bad. Uh. Um. What is with Hero and drawing the attention of, like, not Kiro? <laughs> uh. Taiga? Taiga? What are you doing here? Why are you sneaking around our bathroom? Are you up to no good again? Why can't you just leave us alone? Slow down. Wait, wait. I'm not doing anything bad, I swear. I smell something fishy. What do you have behind your back? Ah. It, it, it's nothing. I... Hey. Hey, that's Kato's journal. What are you doing? trying to do to it now? W wait. Please, let me explain. I'm not here to cause trouble. Oh, really? Oh, uh, yeah? Then why are you sneaking around in our bathroom stealing Kato's stuff? Isn't it bad enough that you've burnt it? Anyway. I'm here to fix it. When I heard you come into the cabin, I rushed to hide here in the bathroom. What? Why should I believe you? Uh... I'm not expecting you to just believe me, but I just want you to hear me out. Well... I'm trying to rewrite everything in the journal, but I don't know everything that was in it. You're the one who's closest to him, right? I, I actually wanted to ask for your help, too. Well... I know what I did was wrong. You must hate me for everything I've done. Huh? Huh? Since when did you start acting like this? I... Uh, I just want to make up for my past. So... So... You finally realized how much of a jerk you were then? Yeah. Yes. I'm trying really hard to fix it. And I wanted to make it up to Kiro especially. Huh? But... I really need your help. Uh... How can I be sure you're not just scheming against us again? Uh. Uh, I swear I'm not. Don't you want to see Kiro happy again? Nice. I love it. Even on Taiga's redemption arc, he still manipulates. <laughs> well... Wait! All that thought. Oh, I thought I was going to explode if I held that any longer. Um... Did you really have to do that mid-conversation? Hey, you're the one who, like, caught him off guard, Taiga. If he needs to pee, let him pee. He's in a bathroom. Hey! Yeah, it's not my fault. I almost peed myself when you startled me. Well... Well, you're gonna help me or not? Hmm. Kiro has been really upset since yesterday. Maybe this will be enough to make him smile again? 
But how can I thrust that... Thrust? <laughs> trust that stupid taiga! Let's forget about the past and work on this journal together. Fine, only it's one can we want. Let's work on... It. Sure. Anyway... Anyways, I can tell that you really want to help. And you've changed a lot since then. Let's put the past behind us and work together to make Kiro's happy again. Alright? Really? Really? You'd forgive me so easily? Huh, <laughs> eh, I guess you could say some of Kitaro's dumbness has rubbed off on me. There's no point in holding grudges, they just make everyone miserable. I don't think it's a grudge though, I think it's just being cautious. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Hero. I promise you won't regret it. Like, I don't regret- I, I, I think, don't think it's a bad idea to help him, but to just be all like, let's forget everything. Like, girl, you can take your time with that, it's okay. If you don't mind. So, we should get started. Hold on. We can't work on it right now. Kato's waiting for me outside, after all. We can talk about this more later. Why don't you meet me after sundown at the mess hall? We'll talk after I finish all of my activities for the day. Oh, is this what the game's gonna try and throw? Like, so, Hero thinks Kato's upset. So, Hero and Tiger are gonna work together to make Kato happy when Kato already is happy. And maybe Kato will find out about them planning and he'll think hero is hooking up a tiger Ugh, it could be a whole mess that's what i'm thinking it's gonna go anyways oh oh okay hmm. and don't mention this to Kitaro. he's still pretty sensitive about the whole journal thing all right got it <sighs> i didn't expect it to go so well i guess hero has changed too what do you mean hero's still a bottom Kitaro. Kitaro, i'm ba oh you found everyone yeah yeah, I happened to see everyone outside while I was waiting. But you missed it. Everyone already tried all the cookies. That was amazing. These cookies were amazing. Stop saying these cookies, okay? <laughs> I'm getting like Miss Van GTs. What an amazing hero. I love the mint-flavored beetle cookies. That's right. Yeah, I'm sure these will sell really well. The bunny cookie was so cute. I didn't want to eat it, but the lemon scent coming out from it was so irresistible. Have you guys figured out how you're going to sell them yet? Mm, we're still not sure. I'll have to ask Bro Aiden about it. Um, I think you guys could reach a lot of people if you went door to door. Hmm, let's see. They could also sell a bunch if they set up a sales booth. <laughs> uh, well, we're not expecting to be super successful or anything. I would murder a cookie right now, to be honest. You know what I started off my day with? Celery. Does that sound like a juicy beginning? I mean, I love me some celery, but it's not exactly the most riveting thing in the world on the menu. But we just want to help the camp over we can. Mm. I think you're selling yourself short, Hero. These cookies are really good. I'm sure you'd be able to sell these really well. Aww. Aw, oh, thanks, Hunter. I'm glad you guys like them so much. Speaking of, I haven't actually tasted any of them yet. Where are the... Oh. Yoichi. You freaking ate them all. We were going to share them with the Scoutmasters, you hog. <laughs> Oh, come on. It's not that big of a deal. Besides, I guess these cookies are pretty good. What? You ate the whole tray, and all you can say is that they're pretty good? You're the worst. Hey! Stop being so nosy, Torchhead. You can just bake some more anyways. Oh. Sure thing. Let me just wave my magic wand, and the cookies will magically appear. See? It doesn't sound so hard. Ugh. Do you even know how baking works? Whatever. Don't know. Don't care. Call me if you have more cookies. Oh, yeah. And make more of those s'more wolf cookies, will you? Ugh. <laughs> so, uh, so annoying. And I was so excited to try one of the raccoon cookies. <laughs> it's all right, Hero. It just means that the cookies are really good. We can cook up a fresh batch for the Scoutmasters while it's still light out. Yeah! You're right. Sir Aiden is probably waiting to hear everyone's feedback anyways. Sorry, guys, but we need to get back to work now. Thanks to Wolf Boy. Ha ha ha. I don't know why I enjoy doing, like, a really terrible laugh. It just... It, it it lightens my day up. No problem, Hero. Our group is still busy with the video, after all. Thank you. Thanks for sharing the cookies with us, by the way. They were really good. You're welcome. No problem. We're glad you guys liked them. All right. Time for us to go, Katero. We'll get this new batch whipped up in no time. All right, all right. I feel something's brewing. And no, I'm not talking about the damn cookies, okay? Let's get the drama flowing. I want it. I want it now. Uh, I'm B. Yeah. Yeah, me too. 
I've never spent so much time in a kitchen before. But I've got to hand it to you, Hero. Cooking isn't just a walk in the park. Oof. It's so tiring. You have to be so meticulous. That in the kitchen gets so hot and closed off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already used to it. Besides, the exhaustion goes right away when you see the person you made it for enjoy their food. Anyway... Anyway, I'm all sticky and sweaty from being in the kitchen all day. I think I'm going to take a bath. Want to come with me? Sure, Hero. A bath sounds nice. Not emotional music while they take a bath. I would never say... <laughs> ah, a bath feels so nice after a long day of work in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I can feel all of my stress melting away. Aw, I'm so glad to see you smiling again, Kitaro. I've been worried about you all day, you know. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you know, after what happened yesterday. Oh. I had completely forgotten about what happened with my journal yesterday. I guess Hiro has been trying to take my mind off of it all day. Kitaro, are you alright? Sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up. Uh, oh, no, it's not that. It's just... You didn't have to do all that for me. It was really nice of you to do. Offer to wash Hero's back. What the fuck? What kind of option is that? Not offer to wash his back. Anyways, um... What do we want to do? You didn't have to do all that for me. Yeah, let's just, let's just say it. Fuck giving him a hug. You didn't have to do all of that for me, you know. Huh? I mean, it must have been annoying to deal with me being mopey all day. Don't worry, Kiro. I totally understand. I know you've got a lot on your mind, and it's all right to be sad sometimes. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, I just got an idea. Come here and I'll scrub your back. All right. Is this about to transition to a sexy... Oh. Girl. Ah. Uh. Oh, wait. What? What? <laughs> that was not the most smooth transition. I feel like a scene was just cut. Ah, there you are, hero. I thought you ditched me. I was winning at the mess hall for almost an hour. Uh, what? <laughs> Is the game possessed? Shh, Taiga. Kiro's still in the bathroom. You're going to blow her cover. Oh. Uh, oh, right. Come on. Let's go to the mess hall like we planned. All right. Sure, hero. Wait. Okay, even the full, even the full stop was lagging. Come on. Kiro, I'm going to head to the mess hall and get a snack, okay? You go ahead and sleep when you finish up. All right. All right, hero. I'm gonna wait for this dialogue to- God, the game's being a bitch right now. Oh my god, it's even lagging going in and out of the settings. Come on, just work with me here. Okay, that should work. Let's go. Um... So, do you and Kiro always take baths together? Hey, we were sticky and gross from working in the kitchen all day, so we needed to clean each other up. But that's not important right now. First, I want to ask, how did you want to fix this journal? And remember, no sneaky tricks or I'll have to kick your butt. Hmm. Right, so I was thinking... Hero? Yikes! Guys, what are you doing here? Hmm. We saw you running towards the mess hall. We thought it was something serious, so we followed you here. Why are you here with Taiga? Let me slap him! Is he blackmailing you or something? N no No, it's nothing like that. Hmm. Then why are you with him? It's very unusual to see you two together and not arguing. Ugh. We should have gone somewhere more private, Hero. Wait a minute. Confused. What is he talking about, Hero? This is all sounding very suspicious. It's alright. It's nothing bad, I promise. Taiga isn't here to cause any trouble. Uh... He's actually here to ask for help. Huh? Help? I can't believe this is coming from you, Torchhead. He's the one who's been messing with us all this time. Or did you just forget? Just give me a second to explain, wolf boy. Are you kidding me? Don't you remember what he just did yesterday? Wait! That's why I'm here. I wanted to apologize. 
All this time I've caused nothing but trouble for you guys. Actually... And... Well... I've been doing a lot of thinking. I want to make up for my mistakes. To you guys, and to Kitaro. Are you kidding me? You're seriously gonna think we're buying that shit? That's right. It is pretty hard to believe, considering all the things Taiga has done in the past. Yeah, that's right. That is true. You made Kitaro cry yesterday, you know. Well... Look, I know it's hard to believe, but I'm sure if I should trust him either. I'm not sure if I should trust him either. But I'm doing this for Kiro. You guys all saw how disappointed he was yesterday. Probably. We can see if Tiger really wants to make up for all his mistakes. And if he tries anything sneaky again, well, at least all of us are here. All right. All right. I guess it's worth a try. So my hunch about, like, Kiro suspecting a love burgeoning between them is wrong, because I was kind of here for that storyline. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to listen to what he has to say, after all. Yoichi. What do you say, Yoichi? Fine, but I'll be watching even closer than Torchhead, so no funny business. Hmm. What do you need help with anyways, Taika? Well... Well, I wanted to try and fix Kitaro's journal. To make it up to him. Hmm. Mm, we wouldn't have to fix it if he didn't burn it in the first place. Yoichi? Let Taika finish first. Let's see. How did you plan to fix it, Taika? Well, uh... This is my journal, and I haven't really put much into it yet, but... Anyway... I've started rewriting some of the moments I remember Kitaro had in the past. Uh... I wanted to try and rewrite all of the memories he had here, from the moment he joined the camp. Besides... I could still read some of the journal's pages, so I was able to get a little bit of info out of them. <sighs> I know there are lots of pages that are gone, though. That's where I need your help. You guys were with Kiro for most of the camp, so I know you remember all the experiences he had. Sounds nice. That sounds like a good idea. I remember when Kiro first approached me. I don't really want to make... I didn't really want to make friends until then. He was warm and welcoming. <laughs> <laughs> I first met Kiro at Hero. He went on a tour around the campgrounds. Though, I guess we didn't get close until after that. Hmm. Even if we could rewrite everything, what's the point? The photos are all burnt up, and that's what he liked the most. Yeah, that's right. That is true. Most of the photos are really too damaged to be used again. Oh, I know. Oh, I have an idea. I could doodle some miniature versions of ourselves to replace them. Cool. That's perfect, Hunter. And as for you, Wolf Boy, don't be such a downer. Kinder will love it just because we all made it as a team. Hmm. Hmm. Taiga, there are a lot of entries already written here. Oh! There are even parts that I'm sure you weren't around for. How did you know about us telling scary stories? Huh? Huh? That's in there? Yeah, that's right. It's all written down. Even when Sir Goro showed up. Hold on. Our conversation during the sunset in the fields is here, too. What? What? H how the hell did that happen? There's no way you would have known about these. Explain yourself. I... I... Um... I'll kick your ass! You better not be hiding something from us or I'll punch you. Well... Damn it! Spit it out already! I... I was secretly reading Kiro's jur- <gasps> Oh my god! Wait, this is kind of cool though in the way that, you know, because during Taiga's route, Kiro was secretly reading his, like, Taiga's journal, so to have Taiga secretly reading Kiro's journal not during his route. I'm like, I'm feeling the subversion here. It's very much like an inverse type of feel. I'm digging it. Whenever you guys left your cabin. What? You're a freaking stalker. <sighs> that wasn't very nice, Taiga. That journal wasn't yours. All right. I know, I know. It was wrong. But that was the old me, I swear. I'm trying to make up for acting like that. Well. Well... At least you're owning your mistakes. I don't think you'd be acting like this if it was all a lie. The longer we talk, the more I'm convinced you're telling the truth. Whatever. Even still, that's creepy as hell. Do you have some sort of sick crush on Kedro or something? That's not- What? No, nothing like that. Besides. It'll help fix the journal, right? <laughs> it still wouldn't have to be fixed if it wasn't for you. Can you stop with the petty jabs? You really aren't helping. 
Seriously? Come on, guys. Cut it out. We aren't getting anywhere just yelling at Taiga. Hmm. We have to try and move forward if we want to work together. Besides, even though Taiga wrote most of the stuff, there are still a lot of details missing. Well... Let's just focus on fixing it, all right? Yeah, that's Hero's right. Hero's right. I guess we can each start with our individual experiences with Katero. Hold on. I'll go and get my art supplies, too. All right! That's the spirit. Now let's see. On our first day at camp... Oh, absolutely the fuck not. I think not, you trick-ass bitch. Bye! <laughs> Good luck! <sighs> oh, I cannot wait to fall asleep and wake up at 6 p.m. in the evening. This is the life I live. <laughs> I'm gonna look back at this video and feel real Yo, bad about G? myself. Ah, go away, game lag. We don't like you. Yoichi, get off my foot! Huh? What? You're the one whose bony butt is stabbing into me. Uh, Guys, I can't see. Is he awake yet? Shh, be quiet, you guys. You're going to spoil the surprise. Hero! Wake him up, Hero. <laughs> I'm trying, but Yoji keeps moving. I'm gonna fall. What? Why are you guys all on my bed? Good morning. Good morning, Katero. Ha! <laughs> We've got a surprise for you, frog boy. Yuichi. Yuichi, you weren't supposed to say that. Whatever. Who cares? Torchhead was too slow. Ugh. You've ruined it now, wolf boy. You were only supposed to have one line. <laughs> Doesn't really matter who said it. Yoichi. Come on, Yoichi. We've been rehearsing all morning. <laughs> oh, look. I'm Mr. Perfect, and everything has to go exactly as planned. Shut up, wolf boy. Everything is ruined now because of you. Oh my, y'all are really just fighting in front of it? <laughs> Guys, what's going on? Well... Well, we were really worried about you after you lost your journal. Even though you were trying to hide it, we could all tell that you were still upset about it yesterday. So... So, we thought you'd be happy to see this! Ta-da! It's your new journal! Oh, okay, fine. Real voice acting? Fuck my drag. Huh? New journal? Aw, oh, guys! You didn't have to get me a new one. Y'all gonna mention Taiga? Oh, it's not just new, Katero. Go ahead and look inside. Wow! It's all here! It's even up to date! <sighs> this dumb pewter. That's right. We went and rewrote everything you had in there. I also drew little pictures in there, where the photos used to be. We all helped to make sure we preserved all your experiences here at Camp Buddy so far. Yep, it was a ton of work, and it looks even better than the old one. You know, it's kind of weird hearing Hunter and Natsumi's actual voices, because I've gotten so used to like the voices I've given them, that I almost associate them more with their characters than their official voices. <laughs> you guys, this is amazing! I like hearing Yuichi speak, by the way. That's another reason to look forward to his route. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, guys. Alright! I knew you would like it! We stayed up all night doing this for you. It seems like it was worth it. Ugh, oh, the talent! I, and remind me to look in the credits for Hiro and Yoichi's voice actor's name, because y'all... They may not be the exact same things you initially had in the journal, but we put in our own favorite experiences with you, too. He's serving EGOT winner. We wanted to give you a replacement to make you feel better about your old journal. I... I don't know what to say. You guys are the best. But how did you guys know everything I wrote? I haven't shown my journal to any of you for a long time. Well, we had some help. Taiga? This sneaky little guy has been going through your stuff and reading your journal ever since camp started. Not you saying that with a smile on your face. But thanks to him, we were able to successfully recreate your journal from scratch. It was actually Taiga's idea to patch it up too. He's the one who came to us asking for help. He even insisted that we use his own journal to replace yours. I wouldn't have been able to make it without everyone's help. There were so many parts I didn't know about that you guys were able to put in, too. But, but anyways, Katero, I, I hope this can start to make up for everything I've done to you, especially your journal. I, I am still sorry for what I did. Ugh, Ezra is another EGOT winner. 
<laughs> Egot winner doesn't even apply to them, but I don't care. You've done more than enough to prove how you sorry you really are. Oh. What kind of random shit moment in someone else's route? Y'all, th this is like heroes just being forgotten. And I'm just so glad that after everything, you're finally my friend. That's all I ever wanted. Okay, but like, Kendra looks kind of mask in this tank top. Oh. <laughs> well, into the stereotypical mask. Obviously, masculinity is a construct, y'all. Blah, 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 but... As I was hugging Taiga, I could feel his heart beating so fast. I could tell that this time, all of his emotions, his remorse, and his happiness, they were all real. Aw, let me in too! Group hug! Hunter looks asleep. Hey! Let go of me, Mr. Perfect! You're pulling me in too close! <laughs> I guess coming to this camp has helped all of us out. Yeah, it's helping you nap. Bitch, wake up. <laughs> See, Taiga? None of us are who you thought we were. Y yes it's so nice to finally have friends again. Bitch, I know who the fuck you are. I always knew. I always knew, Hero. I don't know why you're trying it with me right now. I am not the one to play with, okay? I am on no hours of sleep. And let's not act like you are an open book, okay? Easily read. Easily read. Bitch, I didn't even need to see the damn summary at the back. I knew exactly what you were all about. I've never seen Tiger smile like this before. I'm so glad I didn't give up being his friend. It was all worth it in the end. I'll never forget this moment. Well, I certainly will. Um. So, uh, what what's gonna happen for the rest of the route? <laughs> and then Sir Garo showed up right after Hero told his story. So we thought for sure we were gonna get murdered. <laughs> hmm. That explains why you're all screaming. It's totally different actually hearing these stories from you than just reading them. Yeah. Yeah, but with the journal, I can remember it more clearly. Let's see. What happened next? Oh. Oh, the next day was the day the power went out, so we... Kedro! We have a code red. I'm like everywhere and I can't find Ta... T -t Taiga! What are you doing here? Hello. Hey guys, come and join us. I was just telling Taiga some stories from the first few days of camp. Say what? My apologies. But could you please repeat yourself? I cannot comprehend what you just said. What's up? Oh, come on, you guys. Don't be such drama queens. Seriously? Is this real? Taiga is hanging out with Keiro. I'm shook at. Well... Well, don't be so surprised. You're the ones who smack some sense into me. Well, really, it was Edward. Miss Lee, she couldn't find the confidence. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't think I would have even talked to Keiro that night. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So, you actually listened to me? Um, I thought my little rat just went in one ear and out the other. No, girl, you you kind of ended him, to be honest. You said what needed to be said in the right moment. But how are you all right with this, Kiro? Isn't Taiga your sworn rival? No, not at all. Taiga and I were able to resolve our differences. He and I are friends now. Although, I do have to admit, it still feels a little weird to hang out with him like this. Oh my god. How exactly did this happen? I want to know every detail. I have a request. Please relate to us all the events that led to this situation. Caterwo! Bro, Aiden's waiting for us in the mess hall. We gotta go. Oh. Uh, oh, right. I forgot we still have work. Uh, the <laughs> Whatever. That's how his dialogue went. <laughs> Don't mind us, Caterwo. Please go ahead. I'll fill in the blanks for these two. All right. Okay. Let's hang out more later then. See you later. Hmm. So I guess I have a lot of explaining to do, huh? Totally. You're darn right. The last time we saw you, you were so close to murdering those two, and now you're here laughing with Kato. Oh. What in the world happened? Marvelous. Your changing behavior is most peculiar. Please provide an explanation as to what has caused a shift in attitude. Okay. Hmm. All right, all right. Come on, let's go back to our cabin and we'll talk about it. I'll tell you guys everything. <gasps> our cabin? Of course. It's been pretty lonely sleeping there alone, you know. D Tyga! Oh, Tyga, we've missed you. Tyga is the best. This is so unexpected, but so welcome. Hey. Hey, hey, watch it, guys. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, 
I can't. I just can't. <laughs> what was that voice clip? I can't. My makeup is gonna smear, but I'm just so happy. Hashtag blessed. I'm ecstatic. I too am overjoyed by Tiger's change of heart. Well, good for you two. But Bro, what's gonna be the Aiden. conflict? We're down to like six days, guys. They're gonna have to like pull shit out of thin air. Bro, Aiden, I'm so sorry we're late. We just got caught up in some important stuff. I'm sorry. We're really sorry, sir. We'll work extra hard to make up for it. Whew. I don't know why I made him sound so slutty there. <laughs> Whatever. There you two are. I'll admit, I was getting a little nervous. I've been baking on stuff. Girl, didn't he get told to like wear a better uniform and he slowed down apron? It's alright though. Graham stopped by and offered to help. Till you two showed up. Aiden. This tenth batch of cookies is ready, Aiden. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that apron, you kind of look like my grandma, Sir Goro. A hero? <sighs> it was the only one Aiden had available, I'll have you know. <laughs> I think it's sissy, Gramps. Hey. The only reason I had to help out is because you two were tardy, you know. <laughs> Stop calling me Gramps, I'm not that old. <sighs> Anyway, since you two are here, I'll take my leave and go check on the other activities. Yeah, that's right. Right, we understand, Sir Goro. We're sorry we were late. All right. It's all right. Mistakes happen. Until next time. Now, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> oh, for a second there, I thought Sir Goro would explode because of Hero. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hand it to Grabs, though. He's been much calmer around the camp lately. His mood has been much better when he stays involved with you scouts. Anyway? We've baked ten batches of cookies so far, and Miss Yuri gave us some boxes to put them in. These should all be ready for selling, so we should get started with that right away. Oh! Oh, right. Miss Yuri's group was doing posters and brochures. It was really nice of them to paint some of the boxes for us, too. I'm super excited to sell these. I bet it'll be lots of fun. Oh! Oh, about the- oh yeah, we have to go out into town and meet the- the insert characters, don't we? You know, I- I believe it was Wiccan who said the dialogue is different, so I guess it's not gonna be too boring, but I hope it's, like, drastically different. <laughs> oh, about that, bro. How are we gonna sell these? Are we going to go door-to-door, -door, or are we gonna set up a booth? Hmm. Hmm. Both have their ups and downs. Door-to-door -door operation gets the word out quicker and brings the product out to them. But then again, a stable booth is easier to manage. I'm not sure. But I'm not sure which one we should choose. But for now, let's just bring these boxes outside. It's too hard to think in this cramped kitchen. Could you guys help me carry some of them? All right. Sure thing. So let's talk <sighs> what's happening in terms of sex scenes, because I feel like there's really probably one more that we know it's coming, and that's the costume party, right? That's bound to happen. But I'm assuming there's going to be other ones, because I was in Hero's Gallery the other day, and there's still, like, tons of slots empty, so there must be, like, something coming up soon, right? Right? Ugh. And I thought the mess hall was hot. Compared to the kitchen, it's like an icebox in here. <laughs> Man, you know how hot it really gets in here. <laughs> yeah, it's no wonder you get butt naked, bro. Wow, I'm impressed. Wow, it smells like a bakery in here. Are the cookies ready? Yoshi! Oh, hey there, Yoshi! Yep, we just finished another batch of cookies. We still have a few batches left to make, but we're just taking a short break before starting the next ones. Oh! Oh, I see. You boys are working really hard. Order up! Take a look at the finished product, Yoshi. Have a taste while you're at it, too. Wow, I'm impressed! Wow, these look fantastic! You've made so many different shapes. Hmm, they come in different flavors, too. I expected no less from our chef. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yoshi, you flatter us. Hey! Hey, give me some of that! Ugh. Hands off, wolf boy. These cookies are for sale. If you want one, you gotta buy it. What? I don't have any money. And aren't friends supposed to share food with each other? <laughs> These aren't ours, you idiot. They're for the camp fundraiser. We can't just give them out for free. <laughs> Here you go, Yuichi. We have some cookies that got messed up while we were baking them. You can just have these. <laughs> See, at least one of you is a good friend. Uh, you really are a good dog, aren't you? Eating our scraps like that? 
and at least swallow before you try and make a comeback. Aiden! Ah, Aiden. Yoichi and I will be going to town today to spread the news about the camp. I stopped by to see if we could get some snacks for the road. Oh! Oh, right. I already prepared them for you. Oh, hold on! Let me go and grab them. Be right back. So... What are you guys going to do in town? Well... Sheriff broke back here is going to have me steal people's money. Yoichi! We've been over this. We're not robbing people. We're going to give them some information about the camp, an open invitation, and a small envelope they can use to donate to us. <sighs> you already know why we're doing this as well. Whatever. Ugh, whatever. It's still lame. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Scoutmaster Yoshi. He's just a killjoy. Order up! Here you go, Yoshi. I made your favorite baked be- Ooh. <laughs> and barbecued chips. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Aiden. You're the best. Come on, Yoichi. We have what we need, so let's get going. See ya. See you guys. Good luck. Wait! Oh. Oh, what is it, Hero? Well... I was just thinking. Uh... Since you guys are going door-to-door -door anyway, why not sell some cookies while you're at it? Hmm. That way you'll have a product to sell. Then Wolf Boy won't be as embarrassed to ask for money. But only if you think it's a good idea. Oh! Oh, that's a great idea, Hero. You're really using your noodle for the fundraiser. But what will you do while we're gone? Weren't you going to sell cookies too? Well... Well, I thought we could set up a boot somewhere. Then we could have two places for people to buy. We'll sell way more cookies that way. Eh? Uh, I didn't think about that. I guess my little junior chef is an entrepreneur as well. Huh? An entre what? <laughs> Sir Aiden... Oh, oh, girl, the mouse clicked... No, she snubbed me. <laughs> Damn. Sir Aiden means you're a smart businessman, Hero. <laughs> I only said what Natsumi and Hunter were talking about yesterday. <laughs> anyway. Either way, it's a good call. The more people buy our cookies, the more funds we can raise. You can count on me. We'll be happy to help you sell, Aiden. How much should we charge per box? Well... Well, each cookie should be about two bucks, and you can sell them the whole box for ten bucks if they really like them. Get moving! That sounds reasonable to me. Now, come on, Yoichi, let's carry these boxes. We've got some sales to make. Ugh. Don't make it sound like it's fun. It's not. Uh-oh. Looks like they took everything we've made so far. Oh, well, guess we better get back in the kitchen, boys. All right. Right, I'm all pumped up to make some more cookies. We'll have ten more boxes done in no time. Sir Aiden Hero and I worked all day to finish more batches of cookies. We even made more than yesterday since Scoutmaster Yoshi and Yoichi were helping us sell them. It was tiring, but I also had a lot of fun working with my best friend and the camp chef. Wow, shady that you still call him your best friend. I mean, I guess you can call your lover your best friend, but... Mm. <laughs> I'm going to interpret it as shade, and oh, you cannot tell me yeah. otherwise. There we go. Another set all cooked and ready for decorating. Mm. Smells so good. I can't believe it. I can't believe how fast Sir Aiden finished baking of the set. I'm so excited to start decorating the cookies again. <laughs> it's a good thing bro Aiden has been focused on cooking all day. He's usually busy with a bunch of random chores. Oh! Oh crap. Now that you mention it, I just remember that I promised to fix the lock on the window in the Scoutmaster's office. <laughs> you spoke too soon, Hero. Actually. Don't tell anyone, but Yoshi was worried someone tried to break into the camp almost a week ago. For real? Uh oh, really? Huh? Who would have done that? Anyway. Anyway, I really need to go and get that fixed before Gramps finds out about it. All right. Go ahead, bro. You can leave the work here to us. Are you sure? Really? You sure you can handle everything while I'm gone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll have these cookies frosted in the kitchen clean before you get back. Uh, you two are lifesavers. I'll be back as soon as I can, all right? Anything for you. Sure thing, bro. See you soon. God, my wrist is hurting. I know that's very, like, t typical homosexual, but, like, my wrist hurts from holding the damn mic. It's probably one weird thing. I might be one of the few LPers who actually records their LPs, like, holding the microphone. I don't have a headset. I never have. Well, actually, no. I did have a headset way back when I did like Dragon Ball Z Supersonic Warriors, but that's an LP that's like long forgotten by time. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, Hero. I guess we should... Oh, God. Oh, my God. I think I have sex in the kitchen. I guess we should get started with the frosting. Oh. 
Oh, let me get my apron on first. I don't want to get any frosting in my shirt. All right. Oh, sure thing, hero. I'll start decorating the frog cookies. Hmm. <laughs> hero. Uh? What are you wearing? Sir Aiden might see you like this. That's all right. This is what we normally wear when we're working here in the kitchen. He won't mind. Besides, nobody really comes here at the kitchen during the camp hours except for Bro Aiden. So... So I wouldn't really worry about getting seen. <laughs> <laughs> the longer we stay here, the more you start to seem like Sir Aiden. <laughs> it's not just for show. It keeps me nice and cool in here, too. What's that look on your face for? It's hot in here, isn't it? Oh! Uh not waifu, ugh. Gays disgust me. <laughs> um, we're going to stop here because I feel like this is potentially about to transition into a sex scene. And I don't have the capacity for that right now. I really don't. It's a miracle I was even able to record, to be honest. I just feel like I'm about to crash. Um, but I'm actually fairly happy with the pacing of the route at the moment. I don't I don't find the dialogue boring. I'm 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 still enjoying the ride. Nothing will take away from the fact that this route overall has been poo. But <laughs> I I I still think now it's gotten to a place where I can I can make amends and just enjoy my time. Um but on that note, thanks to anyone who watched as per usual and hopefully I'll see you again as per usual. Wait, I just realized I did the intro wrong. Ah! Thanks to anyone who watched, as per usual, and hopefully I'll see you again in another video.